What's up YouTube? Jeff back again today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today we are going to be talking about an application that allows you to get all of your shortcuts like apps, activities, and other things inside of your notification tray for easier access. This app has really been a game changer for me and uh, I think it's one that you guys are really going to like. Before we do get started, I want to remind you guys of a couple key things. I'm still accepting people to participate in my paid app review program where you can help me review apps to research for the channel. And I pay between $25 and $100. All I got to do is sign up on my website. I can't contact everyone. It is US only at the moment, but uh, there's going to be a lot of other app opportunities. And I'm going to try to expand it to international. The main reason it's US only right now is because of tax reasons, you know, trying to keep track of paying people and stuff. I really want to keep it to the US makes it a little bit simpler. It's still more complicated, but I still want to keep that a little simpler for the time being. But if you're interested, sign up below and uh, I'm trying to contact between 10 and 20 people a month uh, to participate in the program. Also, a couple people have asked about this a few times. What stuff do I have sitting around me? This is the Lamacall folding stand. I've shown it a couple times. I give these out in the mystery boxes. It's a desktop stand for your cell phone. It's got nice little feet right there. It's height adjustable, tilt adjustable, and it folds up. I'll drop the link below. This is a remote for my Samsung monitor, and this is a fountain pen. This is the Pilot Vanishing Point in Graphite. So I'm a fountain pen fan, fountain pen collector. I know a few people have mentioned uh, in the comments before that they've noticed my pens, but I know some people don't really know much about fountain pens. So that is what I have out there. If you guys are interested, curious, etc. Again, the stand, I'll drop the link below if you're interested. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about this app. So here is the application. It's called Notification Shortcuts. And it's actually made by the same developer. I don't want to mess up his name. Um, you guys can see it right there. Rishikesh Kamawar. I, I said I didn't want to mess up his name and then I pronounced it. So I apologize. He makes the app Shortcut Maker, which I also made a video on in the past. I'll drop below. And this one actually integrates really well with Shortcut Maker. I'll talk about that in a second. So it's called Notification Shortcuts. And of course, the app link will be in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, it is a paid app. It's only 99 cents. So as far as a paid app goes, I would say, uh, you know, that's a pretty good price. I mean, you're not going to find too many paid apps that do amazing stuff for less than 99 cents. And it's got really good reviews on the Play Store. And I've been using it myself, and I've been really, really happy with what it does. So once you download the app, let's actually go in here. We can take a look at what this app allows you to do. This is what it looks like. It allows you to choose not only applications, but also shortcuts that you can put into your notification tray for easy access. So of course you have to enable the notifications. You're gonna have to give it a notification permission, of course, because without that, it can't really do its job. It needs notification permission to do its job. But once you do that, you can go in here and add applications that you want to include. So uh, I've included things like eBay, etc., cetera, um, in my notification tray. So you can see up here where they're added up here, you can then edit them. So like if I wanna edit eBay, I can edit it and you can actually change the icon that shows. So you can actually change it. Uh, it can work with third party icon packs. Obviously I'm using the Aries black icon pack, which is always in the description. People always ask about, um, it does work with that. It'll just show this, the, the icon or the stock icon if you want. And, uh, you can also change it. So if you want to change it to a different icon pack, you can just come right in here and change it to whichever icon pack that you might be interested in. So it's very simple to do that. It's not a problem. And it's something that you can do very easily within the app. So once you've chosen the icon that you want, you can also resize it. Um, you can also theme it. You can even choose an icon that's from a different pack than your main icon pack. I don't really know why you would want to do that, but you can do it. So if you're interested, um, you can definitely do that below. Um, once you've done that and chose you know, how you want things to look and things like that, you have all these apps up here and you can choose you know, icon size, the number of notification columns, that can be customized. So if you want to get bigger or smaller, the number of columns you have there, you can have a bunch of shortcuts there if you want to. Down here, you can choose to hide the notification icon. What that basically does is over here, you'll see that you've got the little shortcut maker icon there. If you do hide icon, that'll remove that icon right there. Uh, show background will let you choose the background color that you want it to show. You can see here, I can make it blue. I just like the default personally. It's you know, not a problem for me. So those are all like the color customizations, size customizations, things like that that you can do. But the really cool thing is that this implements and integrates with Shortcut Maker. So not only can you add applications to the notification, you can also add shortcuts. So if you tap on Shortcut 
add shortcut. You do need shortcut maker, but there is a free version. You don't have to pay for that app. There's a paid version too that gives more features, of course, but you can do it with the free version of shortcut maker. Um, I'm gonna tap select shortcut, go to just once. And then there's a ton of stuff you can do within here. You can add contacts, activities, you can have intents, you can add websites, different split screen views. There's so much stuff you can do. I'm gonna make some more videos with Shortcut Maker because it really is an amazing app that kind of expands the possibilities of your Galaxy phone, even beyond what you can do with One UI 5.1 and Samsung. So some of my favorite ones is to add a custom website. So what I did here is you can see here this Chrome icon. I added a custom link to Sam Mobile, which is a site I read all the time because they have great Samsung news. Uh, I highly recommend them. You know, I'm not a guy who's not gonna tell you to get content other places. It's a great place to get Samsung news. If you add the alarm setting, and let's go back and try it here, you can see like there's this bug with both of them, no app to open the shortcut. So there's a couple of little bugs, but in general it works pretty well. I just want people to be aware that it's not like it does everything in the world, but I really do like this application and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that you guys can do with it. So let me know what you guys think about this app. Um, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon. If you guys are interested in checking out and reviewing some apps for me, check out the link below to the paid apps content, the wallpaper icon pack, all that stuff will be linked below. Appreciate you guys checking it out and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.